family and friends. This is Rob, the Sapper Gardener, representing Asiat's Family Garden. And I'm going to show one way to keep fresh water for your chicken in the winter time when it's warm, warm when it's below freezing. Uh, let's see how here we just got more snow yesterday. Yesterday was a, a warm, warm day. It was uh, in the high 30s, maybe low 40s. We got an inch or two of snow, and now it's back down below freezing, and it's supposed to be below freezing all day. So, in the wintertime, one of the challenges is keeping uh, fresh, unfrozen water for your backyard chickens, and there are lots of different ways. Um, some days, if we know it's going to go up above freezing, we'll just take a cup of hot water or a jug of hot water. We'll pour it over the existing water to thaw out enough for them to drink. And we'll do that every hour or two until it gets above freezing and the water stays thawed on its own. When we had our chickens over in the old run, we actually ran a, a electrical cord out there electric water heater which uh, kept the water thawed out most of the time. Uh, we did have a couple of instances where it got down close to or slightly below zero where even the electric water heater didn't because it's not a high heat. It's more like a heat mat and uh, that worked. But now because we've got our coop closer to the house, we do things a little bit different. Uh, we purchased three uh, water jugs. We have one in the coop at a time, and we put two in our greenhouse, which is heated, so that we can rotate those water jugs so that the one in the coop is not frozen, and when it does freeze, we've got two more in the greenhouse we can swap out. And I'm about to go swap those out right now. Come out. Food and water. Now we can take this frozen solid block of ice, put it in the greenhouse, and when we need to today, we'll bring out the other unfrozen one, and by the time that second one freezes, this one should be thawed out and ready to go back in. So, 
that works for us. Uh, I'm sure there's dozens of different ways to keep your water frozen. We actually watched a uh, video on our friends, uh, Sid and Tori, the Naked Gardeners. One way they tried to do theirs using uh, water bottles to keep their thawed, which didn't work. But I've heard of different ways people putting uh, ping pong balls inside their waterers. Uh, some type of chemicals like a. Let's get some light in here, folks. Went out early in the morning. As you could tell when I went out, and now it's time to take our pup Maggie out. Let's go ahead, number one helper. So before I was so rudely interrupted by Pop Maggie needing to go do her business. <laughs> so there are probably dozens of different ways. Uh, Sid and Tori's way didn't work for them, but I've read about that online also. They put uh, some uh, salt inside a water bottle, filled it with water, put that in, and supposedly that helps, but it didn't help them. Uh, but the theory behind it seems sound, but the, uh, I don't know if I said tennis ball, ping pong balls, supposedly floating in the water help keep the surface tension uh, broken up or moving, and that's supposed to help delay freezing also. We have not tried that. Uh, we have just used uh, black uh, rubber water dishes with water and then we've poured hot water on that also uh, which a lot of times if it's just the surface of the water that's frozen that helps to uh, thaw it out for a while so just different ways but the three bucket method is the easiest for us and the easiest for my wife Mrs. SG who does uh, most everything with the chickens so I always look for ways to make it as easy as possible for her so that she's not going in and out of the coop or constantly uh, handling uh, jugs or dishes or things that are in the coop because obviously after we work in the coop we try to wash up real good. And my son's coming in now. Good girl, Maggie. Good girl. So, <coughs> excuse me. Lots of different ways. Uh, we don't get a ton of days where it goes below freezing and stays below freezing, but we can check our weather report now and we can always be ready because we've got, you know, extra water jugs. Uh, again, you can use your garage. You can, uh, yeah, depending on where you live and your situation, it will be different. If you're in an apartment, you may not want to take your water jugs in and out because we know uh, handling uh, materials inside the chicken coop improperly can uh, cause some health issues. Uh, there's always the issue with salmonella, E. coli, uh, whatever else comes from you know dealing with chickens. So we try to make sure we clean up each time we go in extensively to work in the coop. If we're just going to add water or give them treats, we go in, we come back, we wash our hands, and we're good. Uh, yeah, if you guys are doing something different to keep your uh, chickens with fresh, unfrozen water, leave it below in the comments. Uh, we're always open to suggestions for ways to do things better, but this way is working for us now. Uh, and, uh, you know, if anybody else wants to try it, let us see if that works for you too. So, as always, this is Rob the Sapper Gardener representing Essiance Family Garden early, early, early in the morning. <clears throat> Haven't had my coffee yet, so hopefully I explain things clearly, but I'm about to have some coffee soon. And, uh, 
As always, we want to say God bless our great country, America, and God bless you, wherever you reside around the world. Take care. Sap her out. And... SK... Oh, SK1 out. <laughs> it's early. He hasn't had his morning hot chocolate either, so we're a little slow. <laughs>